Hello and welcome to itmanager.net. In this video, we're going to go through the steps to setting up the private network connector. After we've already registered, let's just log into IT Manager first. So with our username and password already set up, we'll log in. Okay, once we're logged in, we'll go to the private network connectors and select that. From here, we can see that we haven't installed or set up a network connector. So let's go download that and configure it and set it up. So we'll open up a Windows machine and then we'll go down to itmanager.net. on the Internet Explorer web browser. And once we reach the itmanager.net website, let's go to the downloads page. And we'll download IT Manager. And we're going to be downloading that to a Windows machine. We can see from the diagram that it's going to be downloaded behind and installed behind the firewall. So download and then let's run that. We'll go through the setup wizard. Very simple and straightforward. And once this is set up, you'll actually see down on the taskbar the IT manager gets set up. Now the key here is filling in the same information, user credentials, that you set up on the mobile device. They have to be the same. And you can actually see on the taskbar now, the IT Manager logo. And you can see that the service has even started. Okay, with that set up, now it's installed on a Windows server behind your firewall. Let's go back to the mobile device and let's go see if that is now set up. So we click on our settings, go to private networks. We don't see it, but very simply, all we have to do is refresh. And voila, there is our private network connector set up. So let's go and finish up on the last step of getting set up with the private network connector. So we add a service. Let's make it VMware. And very simply, let's set up the configuration settings to that VMware server. So the last step is making sure you connect to the private network connector you just set up. So from the drop down, Let's choose our network we just set up, that Windows machine. And with that selected, we'll just click Done. And now let's click to vCenter just to show you that it all worked. And there's our vCenter, and here's our virtual machines. There we go. And that's setting up the private network connector. Thank you for watching this video on itmanager.net.